every sport, the equipment we use is localized to the sport. And with barbells, it's the same. They all look the same when you, when you look at them. They're the same length, the same size, it seems. But actually, each one has a specific purpose. There are only really two kinds of lifts. There are slow lifts and there are fast lifts. Slow lifts are what 95% of you guys are going to be doing. The slow lifts, thin grip deadlift, sumo deadlift, Romanian stiff leg deadlift, it's also all the squats, back squat, front squat, whatever, and it's all the pushes, so it could be bench press, it could be strict press, shoulder press. These are called slow lifts because basically the bar moves up and down, but it doesn't turn. With the slow lifts, you do not want the weights on the end of the bar to rotate very much. Fast lifts are the Olympic weightlifting lifts. There are only two, the clean and jerk and the snatch. Now in the fast lift, the difference is, as the bar moves upward, it turns over. When you turn the bar over, you want the weight moving freely on the end of the bar. Otherwise, it puts way too much stress on your wrists, it can cause a lot of injury. Now the majority of gyms will just buy one bar that kind of works for all the lifts. Here at Dynamax, we have an amazing assortment of bars for every lift. And what you guys need to do is when you come in, you have to decide which kind of lift you're going to be doing and which bar is specific to that lift. Now let's say we're going to do the slow lifts, which is what most of you are going to be doing. You're going to be doing deadlifts, you're going to be doing bench press. You want a bar that does not move a lot at the ends. So your specific bar is going to be one like this from Aleko. This is a rack bar. Now, the sleeve on the end does not move as quickly as it would on a weightlifting bar. Inside here they have bushings which are made of bronze, which do not distribute the weight very well and do not allow the sleeve to move very quickly. Because when you are deadlifting a weight off the ground, you do not want the weight on the end rolling around. This creates an instability, and you want the maximum stability. Also, when you're bench pressing, you want this maximum stability. So, here at Dynamax, we have three bars which would be good for this. The main bar you should be choosing is this rack bar. You can recognize it because the knurling, that's this sharper grit part, does not go all the way to the flange. This is so that it will fit in the rack and actually protects the rack, not the bar. Also, you can see the flange is much smaller than on a regular weightlifting bar. You can see here the flange is three, four times the width. The idea here, again, Aleko did this so that you heavy lifters can put more weights on the sleeve. You have more room. So, to recap, this bar is the best bar for you if you are deadlifting, bench pressing, back squat, front squat. It doesn't move a lot. You have this extra protection for the rack. It's also, without getting too technical, it's 29 millimeters diameter. It's a little bit thicker than the weightlifting bar. And the knurling here is slightly more aggressive so that you have a better grip. Now, the opposite kind of lift, a fast lift, you're gonna use a weightlifting bar. Now this bar is designed that this sleeve moves a lot easier. They don't use balls in here now, they use bearings which are like little needles. They distribute the weight better, it moves a lot more freely, and that's so that when you lift the bar from here to here, that turnover, the weights actually 
swing around the bar. This is going to make you lift faster and protect your wrists. This bar, if you don't remember all of the markings, just read it on the end. If it says it's a weight lifting bar, you should not be using this for deadlifts, bench press, you should not. It's the wrong bar. The weights move too easily, it makes you unstable. This is not going to give you your best lift. It's not a better bar, it's not a more expensive bar or a cheaper bar, it's just the right bar for that lift. If you are deadlifting, you should look for the rack bars. Again, it's written on the end, rack bar. This will give you better stability. The bearings and the length here also with the 29 millimeter diameter distributes the weight much better throughout the length of the bar. This is going to give you deadlifters and bench pressers a lot more stability when you're working. You should not be using this bar if you're doing clean and jerk or snatch. Aleco, again in their genius, came up with a bar that is a hybrid between these two. This is the XF bar. This is for functional training. Now what this bar does is it has both bearings and bushings. So it doesn't turn over as quickly as the weightlifting bar. It's not quite as stable as the rack bar. It's a hybrid between the two because in functional training we do fast and slow lifts. So this is the best bar for that. You should not be using it unless you absolutely don't have any other of these bars available, then you can, but it's mostly designed to work in a functional situation. Lifts like thrusters, you can do back squats and stuff as well, but this bar is actually a training bar. You can recognize it very easily. It's made of a different material. It's aluminium. This one weighs 10 kilos. It has a 25 millimeter bar. This is designed only for practicing. It can only be loaded up to 40 kilos. It should not be used for any kind of lifting that you guys are doing. It's for training the specific weightlifting movement and it's amazing that you have this available. But again, there are other bars that are perfect for your lift. The final bar I didn't bring out is the power lifting bar. There is one here. It's an amazing bar. It's very stable. It's even more stable than the rack bar. Also slightly thicker bar, 29 millimeters. It should only be used for power lifting lifts. It's very specific should be bench press, deadlift, maybe you're going to use it for some of the press, maybe back squat if you don't have another option. So, I think that's it.